this week on the Hoover Boys. Oh my god. It was like a 65, like a dead 65. It's beautiful. I don't even think I had the camera pointing at me. I'm all kinds of messed up. This is this is better than any piece of any coin that I could find. I just found a real piece of history. It's Bill, Mark, and myself this morning. We went to launch the boat, and uh, Mark couldn't find his drain plug. I always have a backup drain plug, so I'm buying them too. I'm at Walmart now. We're gonna try to have some fun and save some history today. We weren't expecting this. Let's do it. No, it don't fit. <laughs> Hammering in. <laughs> no, it does. It's just it was tightened down. So one for you, and a backup. Awesome. <laughs> Hopefully someone won't steal it this time. Yeah. Well, we've been uh, jumping from site to site to site, and uh, we finally found a beach that has stones and clay under it, and Mark found something nice. Oh, no way. That is freaking sick, man. <laughs> trying to figure out what material it is. I wonder if it's silver. That is too freaking cool. I wonder if it was just a, a fancy like women's dress button or if it was like cufflinks. Yeah. That is too cool. Mark's got a copper too. I got a couple buttons so far. Awesome. Very nice. Thanks. Congrats. I should have live dug this. I knew it was going to be a coin, but Mark just pulled a memorial, so I was like, whatever. It's a big copper. <laughs> I just flicked it off the sidewall right there. No idea what it is yet. It's big and green. Let's see. I have something on it. I think it's U.S. I think it's a one cent. Oh, it's smooth on this side. Hmm. I do believe it's a large scent. I do see one scent on this side, but this side looks pretty gone. Alright, well, I'm on the board with an old coin. Got a couple buttons so far. Machine acting up now. Yeah, I thought it was going to be a fishing sinker. One of those, like, flappy 73 signals. I already saw it. That's a copper. Come here, Mr. Copper. I want to see what you are. It's like orange. I have something on it. These coins are not very pretty here. But hey, they are here. I have no clue on that one. It's got a weird pitting going on on it. But it was beeping at 73, so it's got to be British. Of some sort. I will take her. Billy, sweet Billy boy. What you working on, buddy? Oh, I just fell in one of your holes. What you working on? Look at the screen. Yeah. That sounds like a coin, buddy. Yeah. Get it out of there. I can't find my scoop either. Get sure enough here you can go. Just dive under there and get it. You got waterproof headphones on. If you're scared, say so you're scared. Do you feel vulnerable right here? No, I'm just scared of that carrot. Poking me in the eye. No, I got, I got my, my carrot pe poked, packed away. Are you trying to just grab it? Yeah. You got a long tether on there, don't you? Yeah. Can, are you getting it with the probe at all? Not yet. Alright, well. Oh, God. Osprey's laughing at you. Say, your probe on? Make sure your probe's on before you go under there. Oh! <laughs> did you float back up or you get it? Huh? You didn't get it, did you? Huh? Where is it? I didn't get it that time. 
You were only down there for a the second. Oh, you ducked your carrot. Is huh? it tethered? Oh, you caught it. Fancy. You beefing it on the probe? Mm-hmm. My arms are longer. It might be a little easier for yeah, me. Where's it at? Right in there. Right where the foot's at. Here, why don't you take the camera down? You know, I have to film Marky though. It's coming up. It's coming up. I think I got the camera upside down. <laughs> you sure that was it? Yeah, that's got to be it, I guess. Those are your uh, 9mm rounds. You're upside down anyway. <laughs> Ding dong. Here. Throw it in there. We're done. Oh my god. It was like a 65, like a dead 65. It's beautiful. I don't even think I had the camera pointing at me. I'm all kinds of messed up. <laughs> this is this is better than any piece of any coin that I could find. I just found a real piece of history. <laughs> it's it, it's a lead button. And it's freaking gorgeous. You ready? You ready for it, Mark? Oh my god. Oh my god. It's a Revolutionary War lead USA button. And it's phenomenal. It's in phenomenal it condition. It looks brand spanking new. Holy. Dude, I got Bambi legs. Wow, that is absolutely beautiful. Oh my god. Wow. Congratulations. Thank you. We, we came back to the uh, water spot where Mark got the cob and I found my oldest silver and... Hi. How are you? I can't believe that. How are you doing? That is insane. That's a real piece of history. That's something I'm going to treasure forever. We're playing around up river. We figure we come back here and visit for a while. I'm blown away. I am blown away. That's history right there. So where were you? What area? We're having fun and saving history. The trusty old Albert's button book. A record of American uniform and historical buttons. Let's see how hard it is to find this button in the Albert's Button Book. Get through the first few pages of Flim Flam, and the very first page of actual buttons, here it is. Continental Army General Service Cast Pewter One Piece with Rated Border. USA Coat Button. That was easy. Words cannot describe the overwhelming emotions I had when I flipped this button over and saw that USA. Every detectorist has their own goals when they're out in the field treasure hunting. For this group, it's always been about saving the coins and relics our forefathers lost while building this country. And to us, it doesn't get much better than saving a piece of history from the American Revolutionary War. And it doesn't get more American than finding a button cast with USA on it. These Continental Army buttons are cast in pewter, which is very brittle. And typically when they're dug out of the ground, the soil destroys them. These buttons are so rare and highly collectible that even ones in terrible condition, I've seen sold online for upwards of $1,000. Now, I've never seen one in this good a condition, so my guess is it's worth a few thousand dollars, if not several thousand dollars. Front and back shank, everything is absolutely stunning on this button. To me, in my eyes, the historical value always outweighs the monetary value. This is a priceless piece of American history. And it was an absolute honor to be able to dig it out of the ground and save it. It's automatically one of my favorite finds ever. And it takes my breath away. On with the show. Well, I'm under the neighbor's dock. And uh, Mark said he's got an 8385 signal. Right in the same place where he pulled his Hefriel Cobb a couple months ago. He's got it out. He's like pretty far away. It's junk? Oh well, I was going to go over there. I'm just going to keep my detecting under the stock. This is where I was the video after he found the cob. And I found my oldest silver is the, the cut 1711. Two reals. Huh? Are you the troll that lives under the bridge? Yeah, I'm the troll that lives under the bridge. That's what I feel like. At least I'm not getting sunburnt under here. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, carry on. It's been uh, really slow 
since I found that button, which I'm I'm fine with. My that that might be one of my best finds ever, like one of my favorite finds ever. It's definitely one of my best finds ever. But we never got video of uh, Mark's coin earlier. Yeah, it's gotta be a KG one. So here's a shot of his coin. It's definitely a thinny. Yeah, it, it it's thin, but. It's definitely King George the First on there. It's just worn. Could be Elvis. <laughs> <laughs> you almost make out Britannia on this side, but hopefully there's some more coins and relics in here for us to find. There you go, buddy. Thank you. Bill's still awake. He's working hard. If you're wondering, anything to report, buddy? All right, back to it. What are you doing? Don't know. <laughs> what are you doing? Playing my 49 signal? Yeah. There it is. It's like marks from earlier. But it's oval. Huh. It has a stone in it or the oh, rock. Yeah. That is incredible. So, I did it silver because it was a 49 silver. 49 signal. I got silver on my brain. I want to find some silver. But that is awesome. That is a cool little button. What do you think, buddy? I think it's awesome. Bill hasn't seen my USA button yet. I guess pull it out. I don't. I, I put it straight in the boat. It's a good thing. <laughs> I wasn't gonna let that thing touch you know anything would, else. You know what would happen, right? Oh, you imagine the shank oh, breaking off of it or something? Yeah. Oh, I'd, uh, that, it'd be murder if you did that. No, you you would be fine with it. No. Yeah. Nope. There's still stuff here, buddy. Quit playing around. I love that. That's cool. Oh. Come on, ding ding, let's go play. Alright. You got something, buddy? Finally. You ready? I hope I hope so. What do you got? Oh, it's a big button. Oh yeah, it's off to me like this. Anything on it? Uh, is it? That does not say USA. I can tell you that much. There's a nice big old button now. Yeah. Look at that shank. Uh -huh. There's a drilled shank. It's a 1700s button. Nice. This place is incredible. Good job, buddy. Nice recovery. Yeah. Find some more. I will. Find the silver. Right. I found this. Bill's telling me it's off a gun. I don't know. Like a decorative butt stock. Like it would screw into like the, the wood. the top of it. No, I, I, I understand what you're saying. I just, yeah. I don't know. I mean, it is crude. Like the the screw holes on it are definitely hand done. It's a brass piece. It's getting dark. We're gonna try another spot and then probably hit the road. Well, we made a boat ride back to where the boat launch is, and we're at the spot where we filmed the river coins, and I'm right in the area where Brad pulled a half free out. Uh, got a 80 signal, and I got a big copper. I had a big copper. Right there. Yeah, buddy. What a year. It's kind of misshaped. Be hammered. No, I think it's a King George II. Yep, I can see the outline of King George II. Nice mid 1700s colonial half penny. Yeah, buddy. All right. We should have came here earlier in the day. Is that Arrowhead? Nope. Mark actually found an Arrowhead last time he was here and he brought it with him that day and showed us. So if I remember, I'll show you guys in the wrap up. But that's awesome. We don't have a whole lot of light left and I need a silver. So you found my silver, huh? I tried. Black silver. Looks like a dime. What are you? Oh, it's a Merc. I said I wanted a Merc. <laughs> <laughs> nice job, buddy. Awesome. We'll look at the uh, the date and the wrap up. Right on. Yay, we finally found some silver. A little bit of black silver right Nice start. work. <laughs> I still want to do my turn, though. <laughs> Billy found a button. Right after uh, Mark's Merc. Mark's Merc. Mark's Merc. That just sounds funny. Um, he pulled a V nickel. And it's officially an episode. It took all day. The Fat Man Indian. It's a shiny little Indian. 
Come here, you. I gave this side a wipe and saw the wreath and the way it was ringing in the 60s. Oh, it's a shiny one. There's some waves right here right now. Uh, I'm not sure of a date. We'll take a peek at it later. Awesome. It's an episode. Time to go. It's a special day when you can knock something off your fantasy bucket list. Like, that's one that should be on everybody's bucket list, but nobody expects to find, so I put it on my fantasy list. And it, to be in that kind of condition, whew, I am beyond myself because of that button. Uh, let's see here. Billy Boy. He got some nice little buttons, a little piece of shoe buckle frame. He's got a rock on the board. <laughs> An old homemade fishing sinker. Uh, Marky Mark. He's got some old homemade fishing sinkers. Nice open work colonial shoe buckle frame there. Got my He's got some buttons. He got some keys. What is this thing? Yeah, no, that's what I was wondering. One of those. He's got some clad. And he's got a King George the first half penny. The Merc ended up being a 1920. It's got a V nickel here. It is a V nickel. Oh, yeah, there's the V. And, well, you can see mine. We both got one of those little fancy button cuffs with a stone in it. I got some lead up top, rolled up lead. I think this may have been a poker chip. It looks like they stamped the coin into that. Unfortunately, it's broken. Not by Brad. Um, <laughs> There's a musket ball, a little bucking ball. I got a couple little buttons. I actually got a penny quadfacta, a memorial, a weedy, an Indian, and a large scent. The large scent ended up being a classic head, a white copper. There's a King George II. You saw that button, and oh my God. Look at the condition of that thing. That is a rare piece of history saved from the American Revolutionary War. And it was totally unexpected. Like, I started taking video here and there this morning. Like, I don't know if I'm going to take a video today but just in case something good comes out of the ground we can make a video out of the day and there you go until next week help clean up the ground we didn't show the trash look at all that trash we dug today help clean up the ground and the water dig it all and take your trash with you why bill does all holes matter yes they do Here's a look at the arrowhead that uh, Mark found last time he was there. Definitely been worked, napped, it's so sharp. Just wanted to show you. For out, all you guys out there that like the Native American artifacts, I think it's beautiful. I think it's gorgeous. Just missing the tip. The tippity tip. Yeah, that's it. I got another button. We're gonna see if we can get us another one of those uh, Spanish boat plugs. Yes. They got a 90 something signal apparently. 93, 94. B and eight reals. Sounds big. big. Yeah. yeah. What is it? Uh, it might be a French boat plug. Yeah. <laughs> Did you fart? No. No? You sure? Why is there little dead fishies? If you didn't fart. Do you like sardines? No. <laughs> What else would I do with it? Remember I threw that catfish at you? Yeah. Alright, can you guys squeeze together a little bit? Alright. Look what we found. We caught, we caught Bob on his way to work. Put, oh. put your hand out, put your light on. You don't have to close your eyes. Yeah, close your eyes. Look at the shank of that. Check out that beautiful shank. That's the only thing in your hand? That's it. That's it. Easy with it. Hang on. Easy with it. Easy with it. Flip it. Flip it. Just flip it. Flip it. Flip it. Just flip it. Flip it. Flip it. Flip it. You found a reenactor's USA bottle? No. It's so Dude, please be careful with it. What was your reaction? Obviously, I'll see it, but what was when you said you took it? My legs went limp. Because I was like, you know. 
You never expect to see that. I flipped it. I was just like, <gasps> no. It almost looks real, bro. <laughs> almost looks real. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Is that amazing or what? It's perfect. Yeah, it is your most expensive plane. Congratulations. There's Thanks, buddy. Like There's all, all the edges are just completely eaten out. You can barely make out U.S. The water no preserved bad. it. Water preserved it perfectly. Like it was sitting somewhere well, in the world. So I should get a reproduction of my button too, <laughs> so I have a Careful. like, so I can have a non dug example. Keep dreaming, buddy. Oh. Wow. <laughs>